Hey guys, welcome back. We need to continue solving systems for inequalities. So first, just a reminder how to graph an inequality in general. Okay, We can't solve these in the same way that we solve equations, right? Um, so we're going to graph this using y equals mx plus b. Remember y equals mx plus b? b is my y-intercept, so my y-intercept is 5, so I'm going to plot a point at 5 here. Okay. And then my slope is negative 2 over 1, so that tells me to go down 2 over 1 and plot a point. And I'm going to do a couple of those. Down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. Remember, if we have a greater than or less than, that is a dotted line. If we have an equal to, that is a solid line. So this would be a dotted line one. So forgive my terrible drawing skills here. Okay. And then we need to, to decide what side to shape. So y is less than all this. So if I'm looking at my y-intercept, I want to go below this. So we are going to shade this entire side here. Okay. You can also test a point, like if I pick the point in 0, 0, we would have 0 is less than negative 2 times 0 is 0 plus 5. 0 is in fact less than 5, so we can tell we want to shade that side. So you can always do that, just pick a point clearly on one side or the other. Now remember, if we have two of them, we need to make sure they're in the form of y equals mx plus b. So here we're going to add x to both sides. So we'd have 2y is greater than x plus 6. And then we're going to divide everything by 2. There's an invisible one there. So we'd have y is greater than 1 half x plus 3 for our first one. And here we just need to subtract x over. So we're going to have y is less than or equal to negative x plus 4. And those are our two equations that we are going to graph on the same graph. Okay, so if I draw my graph out here, <clears throat> I'm going to do the first one. We'll do the first one in red. Okay, so we're going to have a positive 3 here. And then we're going to go up 1 over 2. And I'll do that a couple of times here, up 1 over 2. And we're going to have a dotted line through those. Okay, sorry, my line's not very straight. And I know I'm shading y is greater than this, so it's going to go up here. I'm just going to draw my arrows because I know I have to draw my other line. Now I'm going to do this one in green. So we have a positive 4. And then we're going to go down 1 over 1. Down 1 over 1. Whoops. Down 1 over 1. And this would be a solid line because it's an equal to. And we are shading below the y. Okay. And then I see where my arrows match. You can see we've made one, two, three, four categories. Here's only green. Here is neither red nor green. Here is only red, but here is our red and green. So that is the part we would shade. Now if you have parallel lines, you could either get no solution or parts of solutions or um, all real solutions, right? But here anywhere in that section um, would be a fine solution to your system of inequalities. I hope this video finds you well. Good luck, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.